How do you think steroids affected the sport of track and field? Well, a couple of things. Number one, it put us in the forefront um, of the drug issue, which I thought was a good thing because it gave us a unique opportunity to try to take the lead in fighting it. From the dawn of time, Jamaica and Jamaicans have been competing at the highest level at World Championships, Summer Games, Olympic Games, and you name it. One may ask the question, why is it that Jamaica have not more Olympic champions, more World Champions to date? We will answer that question later in this video. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. A few years ago, Jamaica both male and female team had to settle for second and third places in the sprints. No matter how hard they tried, they were always beaten by some other team, including the mighty Americans. Do you remember Raymond Stewart? Do you remember Merlin Joyce Otty? What about Grace Jackson Small? These were world-class superstars in their own right. Fact, did you know that Merlin Otty is still one of the fastest over 60 meter with a time of 6.96 seconds. She's also rated fifth on the world athletics list of fastest females over 60 meters. Merlin Otty achieved this time on February 14, 1992, running in Spain, Madrid. What about Raymond Stewart? One of Raymond Stewart's fastest times in the 100 meters was 9.96 seconds, posted in Indianapolis, USA on August the 9th, 1997. Stewart competed in the 50 meters, the 60 meters, the 100 meters, and was a part of several 4x100 meter teams put together by Jamaica in those days. Raymond Stewart also competed against the very best in the world at the time. Names like Carl Lewis, Andre Carson, and the spectacular Dennis Mitchell. In fact, Dennis Mitchell was beaten by Raymond Stewart a few times. Look at the race on screen. Raymond Stewart was a formidable and fearsome sprinter in his own right. So one may go on to ask the question, why is it that Jamaica did not capture more Olympics and world championship medals in those days. Marlwood will tell you that the field was not leveled. There were many athletes who was found to be using performance enhancing drugs. And we don't need to go far and we don't need to speculate because everything is on Google. Just Google the names and we would have seen all the names who used to compete between 1980 and 1997 and who were caught using performance enhancing drugs. Hence the reason why a lot more Jamaicans did not win a lot more medals. Am I pointing fingers at a particular country? No. Sports Circle 345 is just here to state the facts. Not to point fingers on anyone. We can Google and we can see. My closing argument is this. The playing field is now more leveled. So we can see athletes from all around the world, not just Jamaica, winning medals. At least from Africa. At least from Europe at least from the Caribbean, becoming world champions, becoming Olympic champions, because there were those countries who think that they could have used drugs and get away with it. It's sad that Raymond Stewart, Merlin Joyce Otty, Grace Jackson Small and others did not have Olympic medals really to show, I mean Olympic gold medals to show for their hard earned labor. But you know what? They would have gone down in history as some of the greatest competitors ever to grace the sport. I believe fair play in sport, whether it be football, whether it be track and field, whether it be boxing, I do not believe people should be using any form of drugs to gain an edge over the other team. Listen to Dennis Mitchell, what he had to say about athletes who use performance enhancing drugs. 
listen to what he has to say and I will end with that. Proving that Ben Johnson was taking steroids and it has been admitted that Ben Johnson was taking steroids when he did break the world record, I think it be, should be scratched. Is that we want to stop drug use within our sport and that's just a very strong statement against the uses of drugs by taking away a world record from an athlete who um, admitted that they once took them.